Welcome to week one. We're going to motivate this week by looking at a MATLAB function and we're going to ask you to convince yourself that this function is either correct or not correct. Let's just dive right in and have a look. I'm going to log into MATLAB online. This will take a second. And what you will eventually see is your current folder on the left and in it is the the a folder that you created when you uploaded a laugh pfc.zip and then unzipped it. So let's open that. Let's open assignments. Let's open week one and let's open MATLAB. And I right now only have one file in it and that's eval polynomial.mlx. That means that it's a live script. Let's open the live script. And what do we have here? Well, let's move the command window out of the way. A live script is a notebook that allows you to combine text, mathematical expressions, and executable code. So here we have some text that explains what this particular um, live, live script is all about. And what it says is that uh, we're going to evaluate a polynomial where the coefficients of the polynomial are stored in array P with n plus 1 coefficients, entries. And then you're going to take a point x, a scalar x, at which to evaluate this polynomial. The formula for the polynomial is given right here. That is some mathematics that you can enter. And then um, down here is a little script that allows you to test the particular function that is called eval polynomial where you pass in the array p and the point x at which to evaluate and that particular function is defined at the end of the live script for the moment functions always have to uh, appear at the end of a live script and um, you can go back to this particular box you can execute the code that's in it by going up to run and then saying run all and that then executes all executable boxes in this live script and the result is on the right. So it shows what the randomly generated coefficients are that were stored in P. Obviously since these are randomly generated you may not get the same ones. It then shows a randomly generated point x at which to evaluate and it shows what the polynomial presumably is evaluated at that point if this function was actually implemented correctly. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to look at this function and convince yourself. And I want you to analyze what it is that you do to convince yourself. And then I want you to find somebody else and convince that person that it's either correct or not correct. And I want you to think carefully, what kind of English sentences would you say in order to convince someone? Uh, is the English that you use precise enough so that there is no confusion possible? Uh, would it be better to express what you're trying to convey with mathematics, since mathematics is less ambiguous? Um, if you express it with mathematics, how would you then prove to yourself or prove to somebody else that this is actually correct? Now, the whole idea behind week one is that we're going to give you some tools. We're going to equip you with the ability to translate English into precise mathematical expressions. We're going to equip you with the knowledge of logic so that you can reason correctly. And we're going to equip you with some basic proof methodologies that we're going to employ in this week and the rest of the weeks of this course. We're actually not going to program again until the end of week three, where you will actually derive this particular function to be correct. And the reason for that is that we really want to teach you first how to think mathematically and how to think about precisely proving programs correct. And only then do we want you to start implementing code and Hopefully what will happen is that the code that you write will be correct the first time you execute it. As a matter of fact, some would say you don't even need to execute it because you already know ahead of time that it is correct. So, now we're ready to get started on week one.